Hey Temple fans and welcome to Owl Outlook. I'm your host Fran Duffy. It's day 8 of training camp and as you can see behind us, the Owls had their first full contact scrimmage of the summer today. Our own Josh Rolteberg is down on the field with two of those Owls to see how the day went. Josh, take it away. Thanks, Fran. We're here day eight at Temple Owls training camp, and I'm joined now by junior offensive lineman Steve Caputo. And Steve, how'd the scrimmage go for you? Yeah, it went pretty good. I think the offensive line as a whole played uh, played well together. We played as a unit, but uh, individually, I held on my part. You know, it's a deal. We all do our jobs, and it all collectively comes together, and uh, we work well like that. Overall, any veterans stand out to you over the course of the scrimmage? Um, I mean, right, guys stand out all the time. You know, whether it's underclassmen, or upperclassmen. Um, but, you know, everybody does their part, so uh, no standouts, you know, per se. But, uh, you know, everybody has their time to shine. Did you like any of the young guys' performances? Yeah, I think the young guys are coming along very well. Um, they're learning everything, um, you know, understanding their roles and, you know, how to, how to play in the college level. And they're, uh, I think they're moving on pretty well. All right, well. Let's talk about you for a second. Earlier in your career in high school and in your freshman year, you had pretty serious knee, knee injury. Yeah. You injured it twice. But last year... You came back, you had an amazing year. I mean, I'm just looking down here. You were the comeback student athlete of the year. You're part of the offensive MVP of the team. You had the most courageous athlete award. I mean, take me through the mindset on when you got injured and till now. Um, I mean, it was, a, it was a long process. I mean, like you said, I did it twice in high school and then again, you know, my freshman year here. So, you know, every time I just hurt my knee, I said, wow, like, uh, it's going to be tough to come back. I mean, it's a year worth of therapy. Um, so, yeah, I just, you know, took it a day at a time, and I didn't really know what I was going to go with it. So, uh, you know, I did the first one, got back, felt good, happened again, and I thought, you know, there's, this is unbelievable. Maybe just some bad luck. Came back a second time. Third time happened, I said, wow, you know, like, I don't know what to do now. I mean, I talked to Coach Golden and everything. Like, you know, we had this big spiel. All the coaches were in it. And, you know, they said, hang in there, you know. It's ultimately your choice what you do with your career. But I said, you know what, I did it twice before, what's a third time? So I come back, I do the therapy and everything, and you know, got to where I am now. Dr. Moyer, great surgeon, um, did my surgery very well, so uh, you know, I'm proud I did it. All right. well, we're glad that you're all right, Stephen. Thank you very Look much. Look forward to a great season. Thank you. We're joined now by defensive lineman Muhammad Wilkerson. And Muhammad, how'd the scrimmage go for you today? Uh, the scrimmage went well today, you know. It was nice to go out there, you know, go against the ones and just fly around. It's our first scrimmage this camp and just go around they're out there, have fun, you know, just show who's tough and who's not. Just run out there and make plays. Any veterans stand out to you today? Um, all the vets, you know, when you're a veteran on this team, you got you to gotta prove to the coaches that you deserve to be out there and to be on the ones and just be out there, fly around, make plays. Some guys, it's their first time, either, either newcomers to the team or they're freshmen. Any of those guys stand out to you today? Uh, the coaches are really... Um, like like what they see from uh, Jamie Newman, he's showing that he really wants to learn, and uh, he's uh, you know he's a real good physical guy, and he's showing that he can step and strike and run in the ball. All right, well obviously you're doing something right because you're wearing the number nine after wearing 96 for two seasons, so bit of a tough guy, you know one through nine usually you get that role, but talk about this number and what it means to you. Uh, it meant a lot to me, you know when I came in as a freshman, you know I had Terrence Knight and then. Um, Andre Neblett and I also have Eli Joseph here with me and them guys just taught me a whole bunch and they showed me how to be physical and make plays and just help me into my playbook and I just really absorb, absorb everything with um, what they learned, what they uh, taught me and I just, you know, just took it to the field and I, hey, the coaches, you know, they, taught, they thought that I was a real tough player so I got the number. Well, more than the coaches think so, I think you're starting to get some national spotlight here because I've got here that you are on the watch list for the Outland Trophy Award for the best defensive lineman in the country. What does that mean to you? Uh, when I found out, uh, it meant a lot to me, but I just get all the credit to Coach D, you know, and my, uh, the other uh, 10 guys out there on the field with me, you know. I just do my job. Coach D makes the pl call the plays, and I just do my assignment, and I know what I'm taught to do. All right, well, good luck, Muhammad. Thank you. It looks as if the Owls had a great scrimmage today here on Day 8. Now let's take a look at some highlights. Put on! All day! Put on! All day! Six! Seven! 
Level level level. You don't make it. <laughs> D8, D8. Oh, go! Ah, right, get your feet apart. Keep your feet apart. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So go! There you go. Stay low. Get lower than me. So go! Hold that red line today. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Come on. Come on, guys. I don't want to hear it today. Let me just say that right now. Interception. Oh my goodness gracious. Deep ball intercepted. Look at end zone. He got picked off. It was intercepted. Joseph still on his feet. Touchdown Temple. Justice Stewart going deep. 